Hello children, welcome to 7th Science online classes. Nutrition in Animals In this chapter, in the last class, we studied about the internal organ. One of the internal organs of the elementary canal, that is the small intestine. The complete digestion of food held in the small intestine. And the small intestine breaks the carbohydrates into glucose, fats into fatty acids and proteins into amino acids. And liver and pancreas, some two glands, important glands, that glands release digestive juices into the small intestine. And uh, liver, liver uh, that gland produce some digestive juice. And that digestive juice is called bile juice. And uh, the extra bile juice that is stored in the gallbladder. And you know that liver is the largest gland of the human body. And bile juice uh, digest the fats. And we studied about pancreas also. Pancreas also one of the gland. And uh, that secrete pancreatic juice and uh, that helps in digestion of fats, carbohydrates and proteins. Absorption in the small intestine Absorption It is a process by which the digested food enters the blood vessels of the small intestine. Okay, so the digested food, that digested food enters in the blood vessels of small intestine. So inside the small intestine having many blood vessels. So this digested food absorbed by this blood vessel or this digested food enters into this blood vessels. And that process is called absorption. So just understand what is the process of uh, absorption because inside the uh, small intestine having many blood vessels so that blood vessels absorb the digested food that is called absorption so I'm reading once again the definition absorption it is a process by which the digested food enters the blood vessels of the small intestine now you just see the picture of uh, the inner side of the small intestine so you can see some finger like projection here that finger like projection is called villi so villi in the intestine so i'm reading listen the small intestine contain contains small finger like structures called villi they increase the surface area of the intestine thereby increasing the amount of absorption so it's very very important the function of villi what is the function of villi so villi is the finger like uh, projection seen inside the small intestine and its function is to increase the surface area of the intestine so it is a finger like projection so it's inside that is increased because of this size so when increase the size uh, it can absorb more uh, digested food. So the absorption rate increases by the villi, that is finger like projections that are called villi. The digested food gets into the blood vessels through villi and then reaches the whole body. So first the digested food come to this finger like projection uh, called villi and from villi it uh, go to the blood vessels in the small intestine so through blood vessels or through the blood the uh, the digested food or the necessary things uh, pass all our or circulate all of our body and next important process is called assimilation the process by which the organs of the body utilize the digested food and form complex substances which the body needs such as proteins are called assimilation so after absorption 
absorption means the small intestine absorb digested food and through the blood vessels it come to or it pass off all over our body and assimilation means uh, assimilation means join together so the process by which the organs of the body utilize the digested food so when uh, our all cells of the body get this digested food okay so utilize the digested food and form complex substances which the body needs such as proteins are called assimilation and this digested food our body use the digested food for making the some complex substances called proteins that process are called assimilation so in this lesson we studied now four process uh, processes first process is ingestion that is uh, taking food into our body through buccal cavity that is the first process that is ingestion after ingestion what is that next is the next process is digestion okay so that inject uh, that or after ingestion the food digest so that process uh, digestion means breaking down of uh, food okay that process is called digestion and after digestion absorption the digested food enters the blood vessels of the small intestine that process is called absorption and assimilation assimilation means the digested food utilized by the body utilized by the body and form complex substances such as proteins they are called assimilation so these are the things uh, we studied today and the next uh, uh, day we are going to study about the last process that process is called what that is called ejection okay so i'm just uh, saying that uh, uh, four process or five process in the nutrition first process is ingestion then digestion and third process is absorption and fourth process assimilation these are the things we studied and next week or next class we studied about the last process of nutrition that is called ejection okay children thank you